So now let's talk about the append function. So here we can see that we have a one dimensional array, which is called X. And now suppose that I want to append a value, for example, 100 to this X array. So in order to do so, I can simply type NP dot append. And I want to append to X and the value which I want to append is, for example, 100. And now I store the results in a variable, let's say called result. That's it. And here I want to print the results variable. So if I run the code, you can see here is the result. But now suppose that instead of one value, I want to add a couple of values. So in order to do so, I can simply pass, for example, a list of numbers, for example, 100, 200, and 300. So if I run the code, you can see here is the result. And as you can see, these values has appended to the X array. And remember that you can pass other things as well. So instead of passing a list of numbers, so here I can define an array, which is called, for example, Y. So I simply type np.array. And this is an array which I want to append to X. So now if I run the code, you can see the values in Y has been appended to X. So now let's consider this example. As you can see, X is a two by three matrix and Y is a one by three matrix. And now we want to concatenate or let's say append these values to the X array in row wise manner. So you can see that we have added this row to this matrix. So in order to do so, I can simply type np.append because you want to append X and Y and we should pass X is equal to zero means row wise. So we want to concatenate these two arrays in row wise manner. And I store the results in a variable, let's say called results. And now if I print the results variable, you can see here is the output. And as you can see that we have appended X and Y together in row wise manner. And here, if I want to append these values, I mean this column vector to this matrix in column wise format, I can simply pass X is equals to one. So now if I run the code, you can see that we have added this column to this matrix in a column wise format. And the question that you may ask is what is the difference between the append function and the concatenate function? So the first difference between the concatenate function and the append function is you should pass these values, for example, in a tuple or a list in the concatenate function. But here you shouldn't pass these values in a tuple or list. So this is the first difference. And the second difference is in the concatenate function, you can concatenate multiple arrays. So here we can see that we have concatenated three arrays. But in the append function, you cannot do so. You can only append two arrays. And the third difference is when you don't pass any access argument to the concatenate function, then it is going to consider access equals to zero as the default argument. So if you don't pass any access argument, then access equals to zero is the the default argument. So now if I run the code, you can see that it concatenates X and Y in row wise manner because access equals to zero is the default argument if you don't pass any access arguments. But in the append function, if you don't pass any access arguments and if you run the code, you can see that it appends all the values. It appends all the values in X and all the values in Y. And it doesn't care about the dimension and about the size and shape of those array. And it appends those values in a one dimensional array. So the output is a one dimensional array if you don't pass any access argument and it is going to append all the values in X and Y in a one-dimensional array. Now I really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now.